Hi, this is Sandra K. Webster, and today I'm going to show you how to compute a one-factor analysis of variance for a between-groups design uh, using SPSS. Here's the problem. It's the same problem that I used in previous videos um, for between-subjects designs. Uh, it's a memory problem, and the independent variable is the different networks so there were minimal nets, moderate nets, and strong nets. And the hypothesis that we're testing is whether or not memory out of 12 will be stronger and better for a strong net than for a minimal net. So in order to show this, I um, am going to switch over to Excel and SPSS because one of the things that people have difficulty with with SPSS is the data structure. We need two variables. One is the independent variable, and I'm going to call that net, and the other is, de in is the dependent variable, and I'm going to call that the memory. And it's useful to have values labeled for the independent variable because these are our conditions. This example has three, so I'm saying a one is the minimal. I have to add it. Two is the moderate. I have to add it. And three is the strong. Now you won't always start off with your data in Excel, but I like to use Excel for data cleaning, so I often end up starting with Excel. And if I put my data in Excel the correct way, uh, I wouldn't have to redo it into SPSS. But because this example started off with an Excel example, I've got it in Excel, so I'm just going to go ahead and move it in to the data view. So with SPSS we have a variable view on the input window and a data view. So I've switched over to the data view and now I'm going to copy into the memory and so one is minimal and all of those are in the minimal condition so I'm going to copy it down. There were ten subjects in the minimal condition. Let's put these side by side. There are also 10 in the moderate condition. And if I copy this first, it makes it easy for me to know how far I have to put. Now I'm typing a 2. How far I have to pull this 2 down. I'm copying it. And I'm checking that I've got 20 subjects now, which is two groups. So the third group was the strong net. Copy it down. And put in a three. And the reason it's showing up the words is that under view I have value labels turned on. If I turned it off I'd have the number code. And your variable should be numbers. But in order to make it easy for us to think about what they mean I put the value labels on. So I copy that down. So there are 30 subjects, 10 randomly assigned to each condition, and I'm ready now to test the hypothesis. So in order to do that, I'm going to maximize this so we're not looking at the uh, other windows behind. Analyze is where we get all of our statistics. I'm going to use the one-way ANOVA, which is under Compare Means. So if I move across, I use the one-way ANOVA. This is good for one factor when you have two or more groups. Of course you could use a t-test uh, if you only had two groups, but you could also use a one-way ANOVA. It gives you the same basic results. t squared equals f. So the dependent variable is memory. The independent variable is the factor, and that's nets. Now if I go to options, I have a lot of options to choose. I want the descriptive statistics an analysis of variance without descriptive statistics is meaningless. It's one of my worst jokes ever, and if you don't get it, just think about it. Uh, I want a graph, and that's called a means plot. And today I'm going to do a post hoc test on this because the hypothesis was very clear that the groups are going to be different in a specific way. And so I'm going to choose the two key for this one. Continue. And that's all I have to do. I say OK. And then the output window has opened up, 
and it shows me, based on these data, the output. Uh, the descriptive statistics are first, and you should always look at the descriptive statistics. 10 in each group, this is good. Here are the means. Well, memory was higher for strong than moderate than mean, but is this difference significant? Which ones of these are significant, if any? So that's the basic question of our hypothesis. Here's the standard deviations. Down here is the analysis of variance summary table. We've got the between groups, and that's our main eff our effect. There are degrees of freedom, 2 and 27. That's what you will report for this. The F is 7.124. The P value, two-tailed, is 0 0.003. If we look at the multiple comparisons that SPSS gives us using the Tukey Honestly Significant Test, HSD, it compares each mean to the other two. Now that's six comparisons, but we really only need to look at three of them because A compared to B is the same as B compared to A. But if we look at them, we see that with the Tukey, minimal is different from strong, but this 0.07 level isn't really different. So minimal and moderate are not different. Moderate is different is not different from strong. And so basically, with the very conservative um, Tukey test, we see that minimal and moderate are alike, and moderate and strong are alike. This, these are the homogeneous subsets. They're like homogenized milk. They are the same. And if we look at it with the graph, basically, minimal is different from strong, but moderate is in the middle, and it's not significantly different from either one of them and that we get from e either looking at this or this. These two Tukey outputs are basically redundant. It just depends on which way you like to look at them. And that's how we do a one-way between groups ANOVA.